We are investing in our public health infrastructure. We've had discussions uh, about the production of vaccines uh, for uh, in anticipation uh, of the flu season. And we've made sure that all our agencies here are coordinating, that they have appropriate action plans, uh, that we, uh, are, for example, are working with uh, the Department of Education to provide clear guidelines uh, for school closures, that we are working with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, for example, to ensure that businesses are supportive of their uh, hourly workers who need to stay home but may be worried about losing their jobs because they don't have sick leave, making sure that uh, uh, they are cooperating in what is going to be uh, an overarching effort. Discussions with our Secretary of State uh, as well as our Ambassador of the United Nations about how we're going to respond to potential uh, requests from other countries for assistance in uh, dealing with this issue. Uh, overall, I'm very pleased with the progress that we've made. I think that uh, those who've been on top of this uh, have done an extraordinary job. Uh, I'm optimistic that we're going to be able to manage this uh, effectively, but uh, we still have more work to do. Uh, and I'm glad I've got such a great team doing it. And I want to make clear to everybody, and the reason I brought this Cabinet meeting uh, together is that uh, uh, we are taking this very seriously, and we will take every single step that's necessary to make sure that the American people are safe. One last point I want to make, uh, because uh, this was actually raised during this meeting. Uh, somebody asked, uh, why is this different from other flu? Uh, we don't know for certain that this will end up being uh, more severe than other seasonal flus that we have. And it's been noted, I think, before that you have uh, over 36,000 people die uh, on average every year from seasonal flus. You have 200,000 hospitalizations. It may turn out that H1N1 is, uh, runs its course like uh, ordinary flus, uh, in which case uh, we will have prepared uh, and we won't need all these preparations. The reason that people are concerned is, uh, the scientists are concerned, is this is a new strain. And so what happens is, is that uh, Americans uh, and people around the world have not built up immunity in the same way that they've built up immunity to the seasonal flus that we're accustomed to. Uh, those seasonal flus may change, uh, mutate slightly from year to year, but they're all roughly in the same band. When you have a new strain, then uh, potentially uh, our immune systems can't deal with it as effectively. And there are indications that in Mexico, at least, uh, what you saw were relatively young, healthy people die from, these, uh, from the H1N1, uh, rather than people whose immune systems are already compromi compromised, older individuals, uh, very small infants, and so forth. So uh, that's why we're taking it seriously. We have not yet seen those same kinds of f fatalities uh, here in the United States uh, among young, healthy people with non-compromised immune systems. But we want to make sure that we're preparing appropriately. So I just want everybody to be clear uh, that uh, this, this is why this is a cause for concern, but not alarm. Uh, we are essentially ensuring that in the worst case scenario, uh, we can manage this appropriately. Uh, government working with businesses and individuals, the private sector, uh, end up uh, containing an outbreak uh, and, uh, and that we can uh, ultimately get through this. So thank you very much, everybody. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you.